Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video on the channel where today we have got a very special video where we're going to be talking about the 4411 and we're going to be talking about the attacking patterns, how to use this formation. So if you would like to see this done with other formations, do let me know in the comment section. But I wanted to start off with what is my favorite formation at the moment, which is the 4411. So I wanted to give a quick little breakdown of the tactics and instructions. Now to begin with, defensive style, I've gone for a balanced, I mean, I don't like to go for a press. Uh, the width have gone for around about six on the defensive style, just to kind of cover the wings because I think that is a very crucial part in the video, which we'll see later on. We've gone for long ball on the offensive, a little bit narrow on the offense, which is actually really important. This is super, super important later on into the video. And then into the instructions, we've got the fullbacks on stay back while attacking and, uh, and on overlap. The two midfielders, Lorente and uh, Benzema, interestingly, are both on uh, balance, just completely balanced, just cover centre is the only thing that we've changed there. The wide players cut inside and get in behind, and then Werner is on stay central and get in behind, and Inaki Williams stay central and get in behind as well. So they are the tactics and instructions we're going to be rolling with this 4-4-1-1 formation. So now the first attacking pattern that we're going to be showing is to use the wing exploiting the space. This is so, so important. This this is like the best way. Like a question that I get a lot is is how to use people. You know, ask me questions on how to use certain formations. What's the best way to attack? How do I use this? How do I use that? So that's kind of where I kind of came up with this idea. Got a lot of questions around that around that sort of topic. So I wanted to kind of show how we how you can use these formations. What the most effective way to use these formations. And and to begin with, using the width in this formation is so so important. You see Jordi Alba here who are using at left midfield, just getting into that space, that space in behind the fullbacks in this formation is something you will see in so many examples coming up. That is the space that is is exploitable so many times. And this is against a whole range of, uh, of opponents as well. You know, in these games, we played some really, really top tier opponents, you know, guys that, you, that I would play in Division 1. And we also did it against some guys who are maybe not so good. So it, it really does show. But in this example, you see fullback getting dragged out and that, that striker, um, Werner, using that getting behind tactic, that long ball as well, just running into that empty space. And that's something that's really, really crucial because that's where the long ball tactic is super, super good because those uh, those guys that are on uh, getting behind, that long ball tactic just allows just to run into that space that's always that's always free, that gets vacated by defenders. So you can see Jordi Alba, especially on this left-hand side, is just getting in so many good positions. And it's really key that you use a lot of quick one-twos on that wing. It's, it's so good. Um, you, you, you know, you've got lots of using the fullback get him involved in the attacking play using that wide center midfielder that you know kind of that little triangle that you've got on the left hand side really does work super super well obviously you know most people do like to play with narrow formations in this game you know for me for me i love using like the four triple two for example normally quite a narrow formation so a lot of people tend to have the middle of the pitch really well covered and they don't seem to have the uh, the wide wide positions you can see Jordi Alba there getting in, in behind that fullback and in behind that space again. And and that's one of the things that the, the two midfielders do as well is they're really good at, you know, vacating the, uh, the, the, the defenders and the other midfielders that, you know, so it means that your opponent has to use his centre backs or his full backs to come out and cover. And that's how we're able to create so much space out on this wing because our midfielders you know being on balance the fact that they're not on like stay back while attacking means they do also get involved in the attack see Werner again making that running behind and that's because those midfielders most people do like to drop their midfielders on stay back while attacking does give you a lot more uh, a lot more solidarity in the midfield no doubt about it and, and in defense however you don't have that extra attacking threat and, and that's where using the width in this formation is so good because those midfielders you know they they mark the opponent's midfielder so well and, and and it means that your opponent has to use his defenders and anyone who is like you know even a basic player means that you really want to try and avoid you know controlling your center backs and full backs when you're defending because when you start controlling your full backs and defenders uh, and, and center backs and you start pulling them out of position defending just becomes you know extremely difficult so that's why a lot of people do like to have their midfielders dropping back because it means that they uh that they're marking up the space and it means that you know it just leaves us so much space and you see Jordi Alba here as well getting so many goals and just getting so much space on that left hand side because he's he's one on one and that's that's a key thing you know you when you're one on one quick one twos down that left hand side you know again you'll see this time with Jordi Alba knocks it inside and then just gets that that straight ball again 
you know, it just gets into so much good space. And uh, this time, uh, Williams isn't able to get the shot away, but Mane is able to finish that one off. So make sure you do use this a lot. This is going to be your primary method to score goals in this 4-4-1-1-1 formation. Which you might not think, given that the players are only left and right midfielders, you might not think that they're... Uh, they're difficult to. You might think they're difficult to get involved in the play, but you've seen, you know, nearly three, four minutes of clips here where just Jordi Alba and uh, Carver Hall on those right hand side is just getting so much space and just able to create so many chances for us. Now, the second thing to note in this formation, like we did allude to before, it was to not try and try and not force the ball through the middle of the pitch again, because a lot of people do like to play with those narrow formations, and this is, you could argue, we do have, you know, quite a lot of narrow players in the middle of the pitch as well with our two central midfielders, our striker and uh, our, our cam as well you know you can see this guy's in a really good formation it, 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 you know good good 4-4 four, four, low block as well so it makes it really difficult to play through the middle of the pitch and like i said we do have plenty of players in the middle of the pitch like i alluded to those two center midfielders and our, our cam and striker you've got you know seven eight nine players that are going to be in the middle of the pitch this is you know the example we saw from earlier and just how crowded it is in the middle of the pitch and that, that just makes it so so difficult to attack through the middle it doesn't make it impossible um, you'll see a couple of clips at the end of this little segment that we do we do score goals and good chance there for Williams that he could have scored it was just a crazy block from his uh, from his defender but it's not impossible to attack through the middle in this formation it's just not the best way now ultimately in most formations you're either going to attack at, on the wing or through the middle of the pitch this formation is not so good to attack through the middle of the pitch you'll find much more success out on the wings and I just think that's because you you have a, a good core like I said those four players in the middle of the pitch just make it really really difficult especially when your opponents you know just able to play a straight ball through there from Williams to, to get the goal so it's not impossible to score goals through the middle of the pitch and play through the middle of the pitch you get a lot of quick one twos if you're really quick and intricate through the middle you know having so many players in that middle of the pitch can make it really easy to create chances but it's not the best way to score so now we've covered the wing and we've also covered the middle of the pitch. Now another way, what is so good on this formation as well, was the press and counterattacks on this formation were really, really good. Again, because it's quite a compact formation, the compact formations are always the best formations to press. And you see a really good example here. We use that team press. This team press is so well. You see that we were using balanced at the beginning. We weren't on like press on possession loss or anything like that. And just how high up the pitch we were able to win the ball back. Now team press is super, super effective. Um, as you can see, Williams was able to get the penalty there once Ferran took him down. The team press is so effective in pretty much any formation, but it is hyper effective in really compact formations. And this 4-4-1-1 is a really compact formation. There's not a lot of space for your opponent to exploit. So even, even when your opponent will, on some occasions, try and play through your press, this is not an easy formation to play through. Again, because it is so compact, there's not a lot of space. So playing through the press is pretty difficult. So this is a really good formation to use team press in. It does work in a lot of formations, but some formations it's even more effective than others. And you can just see so many good examples where we were just able to win the ball really high at the pitch and then just counter, you know, half counter from sort of the halfway line. And, and, and being clinical is really, really important as well because you do want to put those chances away when you do get them. But this is a great formation. So hopefully you have a better understanding of this 4-4-1-1 and how to use it and what were the best places to score and, and the things to try and avoid so hopefully you did enjoy this video if you would like to see more make sure you drop a thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button as well if you do enjoy the content but that is all today guys have an awesome day i'm out